What's up guys, my name is Brandon, you guys can call me Swifters, and welcome back to a brand new Fortnite video here on my channel. Today I am coming at you guys with a super exciting video because in today's video I wanted to go ahead and showcase to you guys the brand new Infinity Blade. This is the first ever melee weapon ever added in to Fortnite Battle Royale. On top of that, this is the first ever mythical rarity item ever added into the game, and because of those two things, it definitely opens up the door for a ton of crazy new ideas and a ton of crazy crazy new weapons or new things to be coming to a Fortnite Battle Royale, but of course the brand new patch of volume 7.01 update was released not too long ago. It's currently 4.13 in the morning. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's 4.13 in the morning and I have been up since 2 a.m. I got up very, very early to go ahead and take a look at this brand new update. And of course, I wanted to go ahead and showcase to you guys the brand new Infinity Blade or the brand new sword melee weapon that was recently added into Fortnite not too long ago. This melee weapon is so awesome and I really truly hope you guys have the opportunity at some point today to hop onto Fortnite to go ahead and check out this brand new weapon for yourself. But if you guys don't have the opportunity to actually get your hands on this weapon, hopefully you guys enjoy today's video so you guys can fully see how you guys can get the infinity blade where it's located and all of the perks that come with this crazy new sword if you guys pick it up here in fortnite Alrighty guys, so as I said, I just wanted to go ahead and quickly show you guys how you guys can actually claim the Infinity Blade and use it as well. Now, I actually uploaded a full video not too long ago taking a look at all of those patch notes that came with the brand new 7.01 update. And in that video, I discussed all of the perks and all of the qualities that you guys get with that Infinity Blade. If you guys want to go ahead and check that video out. I'll go ahead and have it linked in the description below. But for those of you who don't know, the Infinity Blade only spawns at Polar Peak. This is the only location where you guys can get the Infinity Blade. And that means there are going to be a ton of people trying to land at this location in order to grab the Infinity Blade. Now, as you guys can see, it's literally going to be located in the center of Polar Peak. For those of you who don't know where it is on the map, it's right here. You guys can see, even though my character is has a little white icon, it's blending in a little bit but you guys can see it is literally at polar peak and you guys are going to want to go ahead and find the infinity blade right here and again just all you need to do is go up to it and you need to hold square or whatever button you guys use whether you're playing on the xbox or you guys are playing on the pc so go ahead and claim that infinity blade and you actually need to hold it down and as you guys can see your character is going to pull it out of the stone and here we go guys our character is now wielding the Infinity Blade. Now, the Infinity Blade is super awesome because you guys can absolutely annihilate structures. As you guys can see, I am just taking out this structure right here. And again, this works on all of the enemy-made structures in Fortnite. And you have one attack with the, with, with the actual Infinity Blade. And that's just to sort of swing it around. But you also have another move. Not necessarily an attack, another move. And that is to go ahead and thrust jump. As you guys can see, I guess you could technically consider that to be another attack. So there's technically two attacks that you guys can do with the Infinity Blade. You guys can just simply swing the sword or you guys can do sort of a little thrust jump and slam down on an enemy. Now, this is really, really crazy and it's super fun to use in game. But again, as I said, it's going to be a little bit difficult to actually get your hands on the Infinity Blade in game just because there are going to be so many people trying to land at Polar Peak to actually go ahead and claim the Infinity Blade. Now, another really crazy thing that you guys can actually do with the infinity blade is build so if you guys have the infinity blade you guys can go ahead and build a little bit and this is going to be super helpful because there are also going to be a lot of people trying to shoot at you while they're trying to get the infinity blade so the fact that you guys can actually counter people shooting at you while you guys got your hands on this infinity blade is super super awesome and obviously because i'm in the playground mode i can obviously redeploy my glider but it's super awesome at the fact that you guys can also build even though you have the infinity blade and that can sometimes be a little bit overpowered and again another thing that you guys get with the infinity blade is 200 shield and 200 health so as soon as you guys pick up the infinity blade from the stone you are automatically gifted 200 health points and 200 shield so this obviously makes it for a total of 400 health and if I'm not mistaken, every time you guys get a kill with the Infinity Blade, you guys are automatically awarded an additional 50 health points. And I also think that you guys also get an additional 25 health points if you guys use your Thrust Jump on an enemy. So if you guys use this move, 
and you make contact with an enemy, I do believe that you guys get upwards of 25 health points. I'm not entirely certain on that exact number, but you guys can go ahead and check out my previous video that I uploaded, taking a look at all of the specifics that come with the brand new Infinity Blade Sword. Again, the link to that video is in the description below. But another thing I wanted to go ahead and mention is you guys can actually lose all of your loot if you guys pick up the infinity blade so if you guys are fully stacked if you guys got scars if you guys got better shotguns than anyone else if you guys got all of your shields and rift to goes if you guys pick up the infinity blade you guys automatically drop all of the loot that you guys have now another really awesome thing about the infinity blade is this is the first ever melee weapon ever added into fortnite so this definitely opens up the door for epic games to add a ton more new melee weapons into the game whether that's not a mythical rarity items or whether that's just uncommon, legendary, common, epic items, whatever it is, this definitely opens up the door for Epic Games to add some brand new melee weapons into the game. And that sort of segues into my next topic, which I had previously mentioned, and that's the fact that the Infinity Blade is the first ever mythic weapon or mythic rarity ever added into Fortnite. So it's super, super awesome. The Infinity Blade is the first ever mythic item. And again, this definitely opens up the door for new items that are of mythic rarity to actually be added into Fortnite, whether that's a brand new crazy powerful weapons or whether that's a gun of some sorts or another type of melee weapon it definitely opens up the door for some brand new mythic or rarity items to actually come to fortnite which i personally find to be super super awesome now i don't know why the infinity blade is invisible right now but as you guys can see i've got a shotgun in my hand right now and as soon as i actually go about picking up the infinity blade it's actually going to go ahead and drop my shotgun, and this applies to all of the other loot that I have in-game. But, I really, really think that the Infinity Blade is a super, super, super awesome item, and I'm a little bit surprised that it's not actually available in just a limited time mode, and then it's instead available in every single game mode here in Fortnite. But, let me know your thoughts, opinions, and your feedback regarding the brand new Infinity Blade, this brand new sword and melee weapon here in Fortnite. Have you guys had the opportunity to use it? Have you guys enjoyed using it if you guys had the opportunity to use it? Personally, I was actually able to pick it up one time in a game, and I got one kill with it, and then I just got killed. But, I definitely want to go ahead and hop into another game to go ahead and try out the Infinity Blade on some other unsuspecting enemies. But of course, guys, that really truly is going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to drop a like down below. Subscribe if you're new. With that being said, I'll be sure to catch you guys later.